Hello everyone, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project and I'm bringing you another video on the Superpower Calculator, this time uh, version 4. Um, my prior videos, except for one that I, I presented on sort of giving a, uh, a sneak preview of version 4, the other videos were on version 3. This one's version four, and the topic is going to be using the uh, CP calculator from CP testing uh, that's built into this uh, uh, version four of the superpower calculator. So I'm going to go over the basic function there, which pretty much everybody would use if they did a CP test. But I'm also going to introduce a couple of uh, other features that are attached to that that allow you to do some other uh, more advanced calculations. And it's all built right into this function. Um, Super Power Calculator version 4 is set up very, very similar. We do have some, some uh, and I apologize that this is not entirely on your screen over here, but uh, we do have some new functions and new uh, entry elements and some that we've we've uh, modified a little bit and that we've designated here. But like the other one, we have required, optional, and uh, and results. Uh, required entries, optional entries, and then the, the result output. Um, we also have little warning signs, which were present in the other one as well. Um, another feature that we've introduced into the version 4 calculator is that we, we've organized the, the uh, functions so we've organized them into um, functions that are used for calculating FTP or CP, and there are several of them. Uh, we, and then also functions used for race power planning. There are several of them. Um, you can see that we have a new one in each one of those categories. Uh, some, some hypothetical uh, plans, what, what ifs, and some other functions down below. What we're doing in this video is we're going to uh, calculate FTP or CP from um, and, and W prime or reserve work capacity, which is the term we're applying to W prime here in this uh, superpower calculator um, in this version. Uh, formerly it was AWC anaerobic work capacity. That is not an accurate term. We're using a more general term reserve work capacity and it's, it's W prime. So we're uh, doing, this is a, a calculate CP and W prime or reserve work capacity from a CP test. Uh, we've introduced a new one uh, that allows you to introduce maximal efforts from different activities on different days, as long as they're not too far apart and calculate your uh, FTP and W prime from that. And then, of course, an FTP and CP that we can calculate specifically from a race. Um, so uh, let's go to the function that we're going to do the video on. And so um, you'll have some instructions here, next steps, what you can do. Um, and it, notice it has optional option entries, athlete name, stride weight, um, and uh, uh, gender, which I've in, uh, input for this particular uh, data set, and uh, it allows you to toggle which type of device you are using, the wind device in this case. Um, so those are the ones that I, I know. I don't know the athlete's uh, uh, stride weight. That's what I would put there if I wanted outputs in terms of uh, watts per kilogram for CP or joules per kilogram for the W primer uh, reserve work capacity uh, output. Um, so that's what you start with, but then you're going to come over here and fill in activities. There's two different ways. We have a we have a portrait mode and the uh, the older uh, version, the landscape mode, which is what I'm familiar with. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, the athlete uh, that we're going to uh, use the, the data from uh, ran a, uh, a 3 and 20 minute test protocol, CP test protocol, 
with 363 watts for the three minute segment, 313 watts for the 20 minute segment. So you would just simply enter your, your uh, results. And if it was 302 or you know 1956, because that's the way you selected it, it still works. Uh, so you enter your power and your time for your uh, CP test segments. Um, after you do that, you go back, you scroll down, and it will give your, your information. So the critical power from uh, this particular test is 304 watts. I'm just rounding it. Um, and the uh, reserve work capacity, or W prime, is uh, 10 point, roughly 10.6 kilojoules, rounding again. Um, ten, it notice here it gives a rating. Um, the rating is uh, a new feature um, that gives you a little bit more information than simply a warning. Uh, you'll still get warnings, but it gives you a rating. And if you come over here, the reserve work capacity W prime um, tab, we put in a, a, a table here. And this is based on some uh, uh, research uh, on, very, on a number of athletes that I followed um, following CP tests and uh, with uh, a mean and uh, standard deviation, actually uh, 1.67, I believe, standard deviations to give us 5% uh, uh, on either side being the, the too high or too low categories. But you can see this athlete here, it'll highlight um, his, his uh, reserve work capacity was 10.6 kilojoules, and it falls into this medium range or right around the, the mean. So um, that suggests that things um, are okay. It doesn't guarantee it, um, because if this athlete was habitually, let's say they did test it repeatedly, and they're, they're uh, generally, uh, let's say, 12, and then they scored, you know, 7.63, that or 7.64, they're falling in the medium, but that's eh, a little bit of an outlier versus the athlete's usual range. So... This gives you a starting point, but you have to know the athlete's usual uh, range. Um, but just the same, it, we have that feature in the um, superpower calculator. Um, if I had selected the weight entry in the beginning, it would have given me uh, a... Um, it would have given me a CP in, in terms of watts per kilogram if I wanted to see that. But it also would allow me to look at joules per kilogram if I wanted to see that. Because um, a, a, a lighter runner is going to produce fewer, uh, is going to have a lower reserve work capacity in most cases. A, a smaller runner versus a a bigger runner. Um, so again, if I had entered the uh, kilograms, the stride weight up in, in the original entry field, which was optional, I could also uh, see where things ranked here in terms of joules per kilogram. Um, so that's that's the basic. Basically, I'm selecting selecting that option. I put in some uh, optional entries in this case, and then I went to landscape to where I put in the activities and put in the specific test results and scrolled down here. Now, let's go to a couple of other different features here um, that are, you don't have to switch calculators up above, you just use the same feature, but um, this athlete said, I would like to also have from my test what my treadmill targets would be. So this is an outdoor test. 
And so the, the, the uh, FTP or critical power is specific to the outdoor test, 304. The athlete, let's say, um, what we do is come over here and notice there is this. Air power is a percent, which is what's reported on Power Center. So this athlete had a 3% air power in both cases. That's a little bit unusual because usually the short duration test is a slightly higher uh, air power because the, the athletes are running faster and they have to overcome more air resistance. But in this case, 3% in both cases. Um, if I scroll further on, it, it, you can see that the calculator has actually done the math. It's, it's calculated what the actual air power is in watts and what the, uh, the power would be minus that, that particular air power. Um, and this is what's going to happen on the treadmill. If, if the athlete ran the same test on the treadmill in the same conditions, then this is probably what would have been the outcome because there's zero air power produced on the treadmill with the wind pod. So this function allows us with for wind pod users to enter their percent air power on a CP test that's done outdoors and get a indoor treadmill CP, which is what you see right here. So it's done all the math for you. And in this case, outdoors, 304 watts. But because there's no air power indoors, the treadmill target is 295 watts. So there you go. It's very useful. Nice little uh, tool that allows us to calculate a treadmill target from the uh, outdoor CP test um, just by entering what the percent air power is for each of those test components. Now, there's one other little twist. If I'm using, let, if I did an outdoor test, let's say I did it, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put 100 meters for both just to, to uh, make, make it stand, normalize to just this elevation. doesn't really matter. There's no elevation change. But let's say the outdoor test was done at uh, 12 degrees Celsius at 65% uh, humidity. But we know that the room that the treadmill in is in is 18 and we also know that that the fan is it's all right they, they have a fan but it's not the greatest so there's going to be a little bit higher relative humidity around the athlete on the treadmill so we're going to just say uh, 80 percent um, so that's that's more of a guess unless someone you know, has has a meteorologic equipment inside um, but that's that it's a little bit higher than outdoors. If you wanted to, you could just say, okay, let's just evaluate the effect of the temperature alone, the temperature. So we just put the same percent uh, humidity um, and as, assume that it's, there's no difference in humidity and we're just evaluating the effect of uh, this outdoor test at 12 degrees to the treadmill at 18 degrees. Um, so, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to put in 80% in this case. And now you can see there's a little adjustment. And so consequently, here's what the unadjusted values were. All right. And we were working off of 295 watts was the unadjusted. That would be as if the it's a treadmill value because there's no air power but it was assuming the same environmental conditions as that outdoor test. The outdoor test, uh, it sort of, uh, because it's, it's a lower temperature, lower humidity versus what the athlete would expect on the treadmill, the usual treadmill conditions, we adjusted it. And so the, the tr true treadmill CP is 291 watts.
because it's warmer than it was outdoors and because there's no air power. So um, there you have it. We, we built those things in to, to allow you to be a little bit more nuanced in, in uh, getting your CP values from a CP test. In most cases, as I demonstrated, it's we just want to know what our outdoor CP is, and um, and we don't need to even enter the the air power. And that's all we get. We'll just get a three hundred four four watt CP. That's what we use for outdoors. Um, it, which is which is good for you know approximately the the environmental conditions that were uh, present outdoors. Um, hopefully this uh, demo uh, gave you an idea of not only the basic use of this function of calculating uh, CP and W prime from a CP test, but also some of the nuances that it allows you to do in terms of getting a treadmill. CP from an outdoor test or adjusting your, your targets based on environmental conditions. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time with some more on this uh, brand new version of the Super Power Calculator version 4.